Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to draw an origami bear with the pen tool in Illustrator. We'll start with its belly, then work on the rump, followed by its front, its head, and finally we'll add some shading just at the end. Our palette consists of two browns and two greens, one slightly darker than the other, and I want you to choose a stroke of about two points. And we're going to start quite simply by drawing a triangle in the middle of your artboard. So I'm going to click right here, right to there, make a long triangle, and then roughly to there, close the shape. Now we're going to continue with this by clicking roughly about, let's go up here actually, it might be a bit easier. So a bit higher than the triangle, click on that and connect to your triangle, bring it down to the point and then out to roughly the same distance and then bring it down as another triangle roughly to about this point, bring it straight up, give it a little kink in the butt, bring the butt up and close it. Okay, so that is the rump of our bear. Now we can click on this point, bring it into here, connect to there and then close it. And that is our first foot. It's pretty darn simple. Now to make the second foot also really easy, same height, click on that, connect to this point, bring it to there and close it off. Then we just do it again. So roughly this distance, we're going to adjust it in a moment. Connect with your line, maybe about that high, bring it down. Little triangles are feet. Very simple. Okay. Now, Let's make the tail. The tail goes right above this rump right here. So let's click right about there. Click on the rump, bring it up the rump and close it. Okay, that's our tail. And now we can make the front. It's really simple again. So we use this triangle as a guide and you want to be roughly the same distance as this, but just up here. So it's going to be a bit higher than this point. Click on the top of the triangle, snap to it, bring it down to the bottom of the triangle there and then bring it down another straight line to roughly that point so it's the same height as the rest and then bring it up to about the midpoint of the triangle like that and then you'll see the shape that appears and close it okay this is the front leg it's quite simple now we're gonna make the other paw so this is gonna be the front paw right here let's go right to there Bring it up to here, right about there. Close it, okay. And now we're gonna make the back paw. This paw is gonna be lifted off the ground and into the distance. Again, we're gonna start, mm, where should we go? What would be easier? Maybe right to here. So we're gonna click right about here, a bit in front of this. Bring it to this line, till it snaps. Then bring it down to roughly that distance. Remember, you can work with this as you as you wish. Eh? It doesn't have to be exact. Bring it into here and snap it, okay? That's the first limb. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go here. We're gonna snap to that limb, to that point, bring it straight out, down and straight like that. And the last bit, we're just gonna create a little triangle by clicking right here, going to that point down to that point, to that triangle. Okay, and that's the front paw. All right, now we're gonna create the head really easy. Select a point roughly, roughly this distance, draw a straight line up to about there, and then bring it to this point right here. I want to snap the line, bring it down, close it. That's the first component. And we're gonna do the same thing straight line out, click on here to there, bring it up and then out and snap it. And then same thing like this, snap it, but not at the top, down, out, like so. Okay. So that's the basic shape of the bear like this to give it some ears. Also really simple. We can just go mm, roughly here, up to right about there, snap to that point, bring it down along the line and close it like this. 
And then we can create a second point, second ear. If we zoom in roughly here to that point, down to there, to that. Okay. So that creates this kind of like uh, heavier head uh, right here. Now I'm going to fix this up, make this look a bit more nicer uh, because it's a bit jagged. What we can do is we can select the mouth right here, press A, select this anchor point and just bring it in a tiny bit, not too much. So you just see, have like this point that's kind of like bringing out. We can do the same thing with this and grab this point, just make it a tiny bit bigger than that. That's already a bit bigger and that there is okay. I'm going to select this point right here and I'm just going to bring it up like that ish roughly. So it adds these kind of low, low edges. And the only other thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust the size of the feet. I'm not so happy with them. This is a gigantic foot. That is a tiny foot. This is a very spiky foot. I don't like that. So let's just bring this in kind of like that. And this we can bring up a bit. That to there, roughly that point like that. So you can see that you can adjust this as you will. Um, this foot is going to be a bit smaller than this foot. This foot is going to be a bit bigger because it's at the front. So let's make that a tiny bit bigger. About yay big or so. This foot, since it's at the back, we're going to make it a tiny bit smaller. Just a bit like that. This foot, we can make it a bit bigger because again, it's at the front. Something like that. And if we want to compare the feet, we can select this alt, bring it back. It's roughly the same size. So we have a small foot at the back. I'm going to make it a bit smaller like that. OK, cool. So that is our base shape for our bear. Looks pretty decent. But now we're going to add a couple things to make it a bit more interesting. So I'm just going to move our palette in like this. And what we're going to do here is, is quite simply, we're going to add some little lines. OK, so we're going to use our line tool. I'm going to click right here. And yeah, I'm going to use a stroke of about two and select around the middle. Hold shift. I'm holding caps, hold shift, draw a straight line that goes like that. And uh, we're going to add another straight line from right here to right there. And we're going to add another straight line from right here to right about there. I think that's a good little selection of little straight lines. All right. So that's the first little bit that we're going to do. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shade something. So I'm going to select all of these pieces that should be in the back like this, like this. And I'm going to give them the dark color. So it makes them seem like they're sitting farther back. So this is the front leg. That's the back leg. And yada, yada. Also, I'm going to shade this ear because that's a little bit of extra added detail. It's a neat little effect. I'm going to make this nose a bit less spiky. OK, a bit rounder or oh, yeah, that looks that looks better than the other one. So that's really cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the outside of this entire bear a bit of a broader, um, like a thicker stroke, a stroke of four. So I want you to select everything. I want you to press Control C and Control Shift V. That is V for Victor. Then I want you to go into your Pathfinder and click on this button. This is your Unite button. You're going to create a entire shape. Now I'm just going to give it a different color just so I can make sure. OK, so you're going to get an entire shape that looks like this. If you have any funny little shapes that are sticking out, I want you just to have this kind of outline of your entire shape. You see here, it didn't really work. If I press Unite again, it got rid of some points, but not all of them. So to just clean up, press your pen tool, zoom into here and get rid of any points that you have sticking out in here. So for instance, I have this is OK, but this didn't unite with that. Why not? I'm going to select this point and drag it into here. Select that and that. Press Unite. There we go. OK, that united. And same deal. I'm going to go down here. Select this. OK, so it won't let me select that. It's being a bit uh, a bit grumpy. Um, yeah. All right. Well, we'll try doing this anyway. Um, so select this outline that you have right here and change the stroke to four like that and have it as no fill. And now you see that we have these kind of black lines that surround our entire bear, which make it a bit more interesting. 
Now we're also gonna do this with these shapes right here. So select this shape, strike, change the stroke to four. This big shape, change the stroke to four, like that. Um, we can also do, I like having these kind of heavier strokes in here and lighter strokes here, but we can switch this also to a four, like that. Yeah, that's, that's all right, like that. Okay, this last point that we're gonna do is going to be to add some shading. So we're gonna use this color, this darker color. I'm gonna hold Alt, and I'm gonna make sure that it has no stroke whatsoever. So it just looks like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom into this area, and we're just gonna go over right about up to here-ish, and we're gonna draw kind of this triangular shape oops, with the pen tool. So from here down to roughly there and then diagonally down, kind of like that. And then in to there, up to there. And I'm gonna select this anchor point. I'm gonna move it up to here. Okay, so that creates a little shading effect, but obviously you see that now it's on top of these layers. So what we can do is we can select this point right here, right click on it, go to arrange, bring to the front. So that puts in front of this. And this triangle, what we can do is we can press control C, control shift V, which is paste in place, and then just get rid of the fill. So it looks like that. And also we can select it and make sure it has a stroke of four, like that. Then we can just select this with our A key, bring it in, and you have some kind of little interesting shading. I'm gonna move it like this and I'm gonna round it. So it kind of looks like that. So we have this kind of round triangle shape and we can do the same shading right over these points right here too. And that's quite simple, same. We're gonna draw a square and then just adjust the anchor point. So I'm gonna bring it up to roughly that point. This point is gonna go all the way down there. This is gonna go roughly to there, something like that. And I'm gonna make this go a bit wider out, kind of like that. Okay, so it's kind of widening. And then I'm gonna select this line that I have right here, right click, arrange, and bring it to the front so it's sitting over top of that shade that we have like that. So now you have that very, very subtle, very subtle shade. You can press A and I'm just gonna move it out just along this line right there and over the stroke. So it looks like that. So you have a little shade like that. That makes it seem like this shoulder is folded over top of this one. And we'll do the same thing just on this line back here. Draw that, press A, select your anchor point, bring it up to roughly that point. And we're gonna do the same thing where it gets thicker as it goes down to here. So let's go roughly to there, grab that point, bring it to there-ish. Let's see how that works. And then move this up to here. Like that, and then we can select this line, right click, arrange, and bring it to the front. Okay, so now we have that shading there. We have that shading here, we have the shading here. This bear back here is also shaded. I think we're pretty good. So we see that right here, we could do with a thicker stroke. So let's bring that to a four like that. But all of that is looking actually pretty darn good. So that's pretty much how you do a bear. It's pretty darn simple. It's just a couple shapes. Make that triangle in the middle and then you can get it done. Um, one last thing to do uh, would be just create some little plants, some origami plants. This is pretty simple to do. I'll show you how now. So we can go to our rectangle tool, right click on it, click on the polygon tool, give a click and do a polygon of three, a radius of 50, whatever. Okay, it'll look kind of like this. Bring it down to roughly the same height as this, like that. And grab this point and shift it out so it looks like this. It's gonna be kind of out of an angle and I'm gonna give it this dark green like that. Then select it, Control C, Control Shift V, 
it gets pasted. Do the same thing. We're gonna grab this. I'm gonna move it out like this. And I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. So this is kind of stretchy. Then I'm gonna select this point. I'm gonna right click, arrange, bring to the front, select this one and give it, oops. I'm gonna move it back like this, something like that. You want to stick out just a tiny bit. So it kind of looks like this little tiny mountain shape. And what we can do is we can add a little bit of shading by just going over here I'm gonna draw a box, bring it down to here roughly. to there, that's what's along the line. This is super rough, but this is just the easiest way to do it, I find. So, a little bit of shading, bring that down to here-ish, and this shape can go over top like that. Don't worry about that, because we're gonna select this, right click, arrange, and bring to the front. So now we have that low shading, so the light is kind of reflecting on that. And quite simply, if you just choose this, control C, control V, you can put it back here. You can make it smaller. You can select it and go to object, transform and reflect to make it go the other direction. Just make sure that this path, oops. Make sure that that path goes in. Like that, but it's a pretty simple little effect to, to add. Uh, one final thing you can do, if you press L, draw a circle over top of your entire shape, roughly to there, like that. I'm gonna stretch this out so it's under the tail and give it a black color, kind of like a dark gray, like that. Select this. Get rid of this, select your entire bear, press G, right click, arrange, bring it to the front, select your shadow, put it underneath of it. So it looks like it's actually walking on something. And then once you're done, all you have to do is move this in the way, press M, draw over your entire artboard like that. I'm gonna give it this orange color, right click, arrange and send to the back and now you have your bear walking on your background and that's all it takes so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something new i hope you can create something really cool with this um, if you have any questions write them in the comments below hit the like button subscribe check out our other videos and of course as always have a great day